love your holiday decorations. What's your name? Shabani. Shabani. And you're all decked out? You're going to have a great day today? Oh, yeah. Have a great day every day. Take it easy? Every day. On the roads? Every day. Every day. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas Merry to you. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Thanks for getting me here safely. I will see you next week. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you're thank welcome. You. <laughs> Yes, sir. So, good morning, Facebook family. I am here at Hartsville Jackson. I just got dropped off by a ride share. I won't promote any particular company, but look on Facebook. I'll post it later because I had a great driver who had his car all decorated and he had on his sweater, Christmas sweater and a Christmas hat. He was really great. And, um, got things moving. I'm on the lower level outside, so I'm getting ready to enter. And um, I noticed at the cell phone lot, there were already a lot of people over there waiting for people to come into town. So, I have a bit of an advantage being a frequent flyer. Oh. Okay to sign in. Hopefully it was still going. But anyway, I was saying I have a bit of an advantage being a frequent flyer in that I got a um, TSA pre-check. So I get to breeze through. The only thing I have to do is check because I pack like I'm going to be gone for a while because anyway. So, the first thing is, I'm going to turn the camera so you don't have to keep watching me. You can see what's happening in the airport. Well, of course, the first thing's first. The escalators are working. That's a good thing. You know what? We're just not even going to talk what happened last week because that's history. All we can do is deal with today and the here and now. So, as I'm approaching the main terminal here, Hartsfield on the south side, Oh my gosh, look at the line to check your bag. Okay, I can't wait in this line. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to go to the other side. Oh my gosh, now that's a nightmare. That's not good. My flight's at 8.10, so I don't have time for this line. So... Let me go see if I can get some help. All right. I'll, uh, I'll be back. Hopefully I make my flight. Man, this one is really hard for me. Um, I saw this days ago. And I have recorded and re-recorded a few times. Because the first time that I recorded this... You couldn't even hear me speak. I was crying. It, I did not ever think that someone that I just saw on TV, you know, in Atlanta, I moved here in 2004, and someone that I did not know personally, that their passing would affect me this way. You know, and even though me crying and everything that was going on was raw emotion, you all still have to hear you know when I speak so if you can't hear me it's like okay like sorry you know Vina and everything that's going on but we can't even understand what you're saying so this is another attempt now that I've calmed down a little bit um, my condolences to Amanda Davis and family that video you watch it's just really breaks my heart because it has just shows you how crazy life is and that you never know this was the day she died the, the, the day that she had the stroke not the day she died but the day that she had the stroke she's in the airport hair done makeup done looking nice healthy on her way to her father's funeral okay this was her last message 
talking about death and encouraging people on how to deal with, you know, loss during the holiday and putting the phone in her face and documenting her trip through the airport. Looking healthy and all of that and had no clue, man, this was going to be her last video. It's just so crazy how life is. So I just want to encourage every single one of you through all of the drama and everything that life brings, always be grateful every day that you wake up, man, and make sure that everything that you have said in your mind that you want to accomplish in being life, that you go hard and you make it happen. And be grateful every single day. And if you find yourself, even if you are not in a position to do everything that you want to do in your life for financial reasons or whatever other reasons. Try to find the small things around that make you happy. And even if it's once a month or once a week or once every few months to just escape and do that, do that, man, because you never know. Those videos just broke my heart to see her walking talking healthy and all of that and had no clue that her life was going to be over you know and amanda had a massive stroke i'm so sorry that i just sorry that i just went there and did not even detail you know what happened to amanda she was heading to her dad funeral and she had a massive stroke at the heart's field Atlanta Hartsville Jackson Airport and she was rushed to the hospital and she did not make it you know so I'm praying for her family right now because she was on her way to bury somebody else and had no clue that she was going to be a part of that it's like back to back like my goodness oh my gosh calm down Vina Whew. okay all right so I just want to send my condolences out to her family again um, Amanda have had her struggles and her battles and but you know alcoholism and she's been very honest and open about that she was arrested for DUI and she just she was very open about her struggle and that she had a sickness and she worked extremely hard to you know get back on her feet you know she had this amazing moment everywhere it's called well, Wednesday child where she shined a light on amazing kids and all of that and man she would be greatly missed I mean you have to value and treasure every day you know I moved to Atlanta in 2004 and just turning on your TV and you know Atlanta is one of those states that in as much as racism and all of that is still alive and real, okay? Um, it's one of those states that make you turn on your TV and make you say, I can be anything because you see your skin color on TV. And this is not about race, but if you're ever someone who feels like, oh, I'm not ever going to, you know, be president. I'm not ever going to, you know, get to this level in life. Atlanta is one of those states that when you turn on the TV, you just feel like anything is possible because you see your own people in your face and all of that. And, and everybody, right? All race, all colors, we're all one people. I'm just saying, from a young African American woman standpoint, um, Amanda Davis really impacted, you know, Atlanta. Period. She will always be a legend in, 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 you know, Atlanta. She showed perseverance no matter how many times she was knocked down and all of that. She still stayed strong and kept going and bounced back and, you know, got another position on a different network and yeah so wow my, my condolences again to her family you know with my raw emotions and all of that i also feel like it's only right that i include exactly what was written from an article by fox 5 where she worked for a very long time and um 
basically read what they had to say about Amanda because it's only right to not only just talk about her as a woman from my standpoint, but the impact that she made on Atlanta, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start the article off here. Remembering Amanda Davis, her career and impact in Atlanta. She was a staple of t television news in Atlanta for decades. Amanda Davis, who career in Atlanta also spent more than 30 years, died Wednesday night after reportedly suffering a stroke. Her sudden death has left many in shock as her friends, colleagues, and fans come together to remember the impact she had on the community. They continue. Fox 5 spoke to a close friend of Davis who says she had a medical emergency Tuesday at the Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport. Davis, an anchor at the WGCL for the past year, reportedly suffered a stroke and was rushed to the hospital. Colleagues announced her passing, her passing just before 10 p.m. Wednesday. Okay, this is a quote here. I was absolutely shocked you know, thinking about the way that it occurred, going to really, going to really to home, going for her own, for her own relative, her stepfather, and for this to occur is just unheard of. For this death to occur in the way that it did. This is from um, Atlanta police, former Atlanta police chief, George Turner. Now, Russ Spencer, who worked with her for a while, this was what he wrote on um, Facebook about Amanda. Amanda Davis has gone to be with God, leaving me shocked and heartbroken by suddenness of her passing. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and read all of what he wrote, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back and continue the video. Okay, and then Davis worked as a television news anchor in Atlanta for more than 30 years. She started at WAGA in 1986 and soon became a fixture in the community, quickly taking over the anchor chair for the known news. In 1992, she was taxed with helping to launch Fox 5 highly successful Good Day Atlanta franchise. After five years, she moved to the main anchor chair. She retired from the station in 2013. Uh, this is from Russ Spencer. You know, we spent a long time together. I think it was probably more than 16 years on the air. Two hours a day, that's a lot of commercial breaks. A lot of time to get to know each other, to get to love each other. We were like family. Wow. The article continued, her label of love while at Fox 5 Atlanta was the lunch of Wednesday Child, a segment dedicated to helping the young foster children of Atlanta find forever families. It was a project which began in 1997 under the title, A Place to Call Home. Just three short years later, the first Wednesday Child segment hit the airways in November of 2000. It was it was it brought her much joy that she was able to tell their stories and find 32 children permanent love and families in the first year alone a wednesday child legacy probably lives on at fox 5 to this day okay this is a quote here the wednesday child stuff was the thing that touched her heart the most and gave her the most satisfaction because it made a difference in People lives. This is from um, Spencer. Davis covered many stories throughout her time at Fox 5 Atlanta, but she might be most remembered for covering the funeral of Coretta Scott King and interviewing Barack Obama before he took office as President of the United States. Now, guys, I was able to go to the body viewing of Coretta Scott King when she died. It was so sad. On the article continuing, her career in television news started at 
the former NBC affiliate in Charlotte, North Carolina, WRAT. In just four years, she was promoted to become the station's main anchor and began hosting a weekly on-air magazine. Davis then moved 400 miles north to Washington, D.C., where she worked as the national correspondent for the now deep funk satellite news channel as China, an early competitor at Monday 24-hour cable news network. She then landed in Atlanta, which she called home ever since. With the passing of Amanda Davis, we have lost a caring, sensitive friend and journalist. We pray for her family, friends, and colleagues. Her voice will be deeply missed. This is from uh, Representative John Lewis. Oh my gosh, John Lewis, just a legend. Uh, this, this was his statement to Fox 5 News. All right. And this is another statement here. I am deeply saddened by the sudden death of Amanda Davis, an icon of the Atlanta Press Corp. Our thoughts and prayers go out to Amanda's family, especially her daughter during this difficult time. This is from Mayor Kasim Reed. Oh my gosh. Amanda's smile was known to people across the entire metropolitan Atlanta region. Amanda lit up the screen and forged a bond with her viewers. Her absence will be felt for years to come during this holiday season. Let us be reminded of the need to hold our loved ones close and cherish every moment we spend with our family, friends, neighbors, and colleagues. Oh, I'm trying to get through it, guys. I'm almost done. <laughs> this is another... Um, message here. I am deeply saddened to learn of the untimely passing of Amanda Davis. She was an icon in Atlanta television news industry who stood out among the best and the brightest. This is the Atlanta City Councilman Michael Jillian Bond in his statement. Another person warning. In addition to being well respected in the community, many former colleagues and interns remember her for offering advice, help, and assurance. And then this is the final part of the article. During her career, Davis won multiple Emmys from the National Academy of Television Arts and Science, including Best New Cast Honors for anchoring Fox 5 News in 1999 and 2000. She was also honored with the prestigious Edward R. Murray Award for her continuous live broadcasting during the abortion clinic bombing in Atlanta. Those stories which she took to heart also earned her a Gabby Award from the Georgia Association of Broadcasters in 1998. The Atlanta Association of Black Journalists bestowed several awards to Davis, including Best Anchor in 2001 for her continued work on the Wednesday's Child feature. Her labor of love also earned her a nod with the um, Kenning's Kid Foundation Media Award. Davis graduated. Oh my God. I'm, I'm going to go just go ahead and include like screenshots from the right up here. And then the last part of the article is Davis is survived by her mother and her daughter. A viewing will be held on January 2nd from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Georgia B. Levert Funeral Home located at 4347 Flash Shows Parkway and will be open to the public. I might go to that, guys. I'm not sure. <sighs> but anyways, Amanda Davis, thank you for everything and for being a beautiful soul. As you guys could see in that video while she was at the airport and just happy and the cap and taking pictures of how you know festive that the cap <laughs> her driver was to the airport and him hugging her and saying I'll see you later and I'm sure he's in shock right now and have like wow really I just told her I'll see her later so yeah all right okay so I'm gonna use this um, moment on this portion over here to just include tweets and just messages from you know her colleagues and just everyone lives that she affected you know in the Atlanta community so I'm going to let the music play I'm going to you know put these tweets and things up here on the screen for you guys to see it and then I'm gonna come back and close out the video
I always say, right, uh, the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. And it's like, if there's any positivity or good you can take from this is be kind, um, be amazing, um, enjoy your life, you know, just live, <laughs> um, Live your life and, and not not just be alive. Like, I'm here every day. Try to do your best to live, you know, because you never know. Her last message on her page was talking about death and moving forward. This was her last message right here. And, and she had no idea. So, that's all I can leave you with my vanilla loves. I'm wishing you all an amazing day. And, yeah. God bless. Bye-bye.